going to be looking at part two of our beginners guitar lesson videos. Uh, in part one we looked at how to sit with the guitar, uh, we looked at the string names uh, and just generally getting you going with your guitar. Today we are going to look at the guitar neck and the frets and how they work and hopefully then you'll be all set up ready to go for how to read guitar music. So let's get cracking. Um, this is the neck of your guitar. Uh, every guitar should have a neck, if it doesn't, so it's gone horribly wrong. Um, on the neck of your guitar, you should have these little sections. Now, these are all important. These are called frets. Uh, without these, we don't really get much out of our guitar. Uh, I'm sure at some point, as guitarists, we've all sat there and just randomly bashed away at the strings um, and not been particularly happy with the sound that comes out. I think you may love it. Uh, but what we need to do is learn what to do with our left hand to make sure that the guitar sounds like a guitar. So a little bit more tuneful. Um, that's what we're going to look at right now. So each section of the guitar here, you can see on the guitar neck, it's called a fret. Now the fret covers the entire width of the neck. So this is fret number one, this whole gap here is fret number one, hope you can see that all right. Fret number one, and then what we're going to do is we're going to count the frets up. So we're going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then fret number twelve. Now I'm only counting up as high as twelve because I'm assuming that most of you may well have like the nylon string acoustics. You don't have good high fret access on them, um, so we're just going to stop at that. To be honest with you, as a beginning guitarist, the, the most stuff you'll blow up, the, the wow. The, I really can't speak. The majority of the stuff you're going to do to start with is probably going to be around this lower part of the fretboard, okay? So that's where we're going to concentrate our efforts anyway. So just count them one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then twelve, okay? This guitar goes up to twenty-two. You get 24 fret guitars. You get stupid amounts of frets on guitars now. I don't know what they've got up to, but standard guitars 22, 24, 21, okay? So count your frets up, get comfortable if they are. <laughs> Do so well. Get comfortable with where your frets are, okay? So those are the frets of your guitar. Now, the purpose of a fret is to change the note of that string. So if I play the open A string, it produces the note A. So that's why it's called A. That's why the string name is A, because it produces the note A. I think we determine that now. So as an open string, that's its tuned note. If I hold down fret number three, so to hold a string down, you put your finger on top of it, squeeze it towards the neck, and I've now raised the pitch of that string to C. We'll learn about the chromatic scale much later on. Take my word for it, that is now a C. Okay? So we have an A, I held down fret number three, we now have a C. You can do that anywhere on the string, anywhere on the neck. You can hold down the fret to change the pitch. Essentially what you're doing is you're shortening the length of the string, making it tighter, making the note higher. Okay? So A, C, D, E, F sharp. Okay? So just by holding down the frets on the neck, I've made the notes different. So what I suggest you do is take any string on your guitar, doesn't matter at all, any fret and just get used to what you have to do to make the note change. And you might find when you first press a fret down, you get fret buzz. Okay, that comes from usually not pressing down hard enough. Certainly, initially, that's what will be causing it. So you need to press down really hard, give it a good squeeze, and pluck and get that nice pure note. As a tip for playing here, what I would suggest, the fret, you don't want to be over in the left-hand side of it. We want to make sure we're in the middle, over to the right hand side. That's going to give you the easiest note to achieve. You can achieve the note on the left hand side and some chords will force you to be over on the left hand side but generally you want to be on the right hand side or the centre to get the note out you want. You should get a nice clear note. As you heard there, there is a bit of fret buzz. Every guitar has a little bit of fret buzz so don't get too paranoid about it. Um, yeah, it just happens. As long as you're pressing down good and hard and that's just kind of, that's good enough. So that is your guitar neck and how to, how, how to fret a note. Uh, so just go over that one more time with you. You have your open string, you maybe hold down fret number three, so there I am on my low E string, squeezing it down towards the guitar neck. Make sure you're not bending it, make sure the pressure is directly on top of it, pushing it towards the neck, and now I have a new note. Cool? That's as simple as it is. So in our next video, we are going to look at reading guitar music, 
putting the string names and the frets and the neck and everything into practice so we can get a tune out of our guitar. Okay. Uh, last video I gave you a couple of tips on making sure that you are a guitarist, not just someone who can knock out a few tunes. Keep that in mind. Really become you know, a guitarist who's interested in guitar makes, how a guitar works, guitar bands, stuff like that. Just have a lot of fun with it. Learn different stuff that you wouldn't necessarily consider learning. So I'm more of a kind of rock, blues guitarists at heart, but I'll play anything, I don't care, um, to the point where I was learning stuff like Little Things by One Direction, and actually I got a lot from that song, I get a lot from a lot of the pop songs I learned as a guitar teacher, so don't be a snob about it, play anything, have fun with it, and keep trying and you will get there. I uh, hope you're having fun, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. <laughs>